Well, if you're a fan of the Texas Longhorns or the Oklahoma Sooners, or just a fan of college football in general, you know that this game needs no introduction, but it is the Red River rivalry from the Cotton Bowl with extra stakes on the line here. It's number two Texas versus number three Oklahoma, not just any ordinary rivalry game between these two teams. This one has national championship hopes written all over it, despite how early it is in the season. And Texas coming out, firing all cylinders on the running game, but unfortunately Tyrone swoops and his errant passing ways are there to correct Texas' ability to score on an opening drive as he tries to lead Devoner Clarington down the seam, but leads him about 10 yards too far and into the waiting hands of the Sooner safety. Gives it back to Oklahoma, who's not able to do anything with it. Has to punt it back is Texas with the ball, though. Chris Gunn, the true freshman, taking the pitch on the option. But Oklahoma is all over that. You know they've got lots of team speed, so a guy like Chris Gunn is not going to stand out in a crowd. And they're swarming to him. Look at that defense. Oklahoma is stepping it up in this game. As you're going to see, defense was the name of the game all day long for both sides. Texas back with the ball now about halfway through the first quarter. Not giving up on that run game as you know they never will. And Chris Warren taking the handoff, rumbling and bumbling up the gut. Tyrone Swoops says it's my turn, but I don't want to get hit. Tyrone Swoops laying up and taking a little slide. He's safe at second and it's third and two now. A little pass out to the shifty Chris Gunn, our favorite freshman. Picks up the first down. A few plays later on first and goal they give to Chris Warren and it's touchdown time. Don't even think about it, he says. I'm a man and I've got a mustache. The Texas defense, they're a bunch of men as well, only giving up 10 yards through the first quarter. Come on, somebody. We talked about how good they were when we were playing Kansas. They proved it again last week against West Virginia, breaking Skyler Howard, trying to break Baker Mayfield here with a sack and a fumble. Good thing Pirine was there to pick that one up. Unfortunately, though, for Oklahoma, it's a 10-yard loss, and it's second and 20 with a 7 to nothing deficit here early in the second quarter. You never get tired of seeing that one over and over again if you're a Texas fan. The Longhorns back with the ball now. Swoop keeps it again on the read option. He's got a couple blockers. He takes the tackle, not going down on the slide this time. A few plays later, not able to convert. The Longhorns punch it through a nice field goal, and it's a 10-zip lead. Three and a half now to go before the half, and Baker Mayfield going down again. You know who it is. It's Paul Boyette Jr. Not Hassan Ridgeway, who leads the nation in sacks, but Boyette trying to get his name up there as well. Says, don't leave me out. A future NFL prospect in his own right, but what about Chris Gunn? You know that man's got a bright future as well. He looked kind of slow going through the hole on that one. But going deep here is Swoops. And look at Clarington trying to sky for that one. Oklahoma popping that baby up in the air. That thing was up there forever. Should have been picked. But they must have got dizzy waiting for it to come down. A few plays later. Now we're under one minute to go. Oklahoma had the ball. Got upon it back. Lorenzo Joe with a nice return down to about the 32. Texas not able to do anything with it though. Setting up the screen, Chris Warren, he's not the shiftiest guy. But he takes it, gains about six yards, sets up a long field goal, and Thomas slices it in. The freshman giving us a 13 to nothing lead. Oklahoma pushing down the field, though, trying to get some points after a squib kick. Pirine takes the catch, goes down five seconds to go. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. And it is good. Three points for the Sooners. It's a 13-3 game at halftime. Not what you're used to with this Texas team. But as I warned you, and as you might have expected, definitely a defensive showdown to this point. Moving on now to the second half. Oklahoma playing the perimeter, passing it to the flats, moving down the field. Now it's third and four. Texas comes out in man coverage, drops back to pass on the screen. Oh, they miss. The D tackle misses, but you know who's there. Malik Jefferson, the elite nation leading tackler, the outside linebacker, forces Oklahoma into another field goal. No touchdown for the Sooners yet. 13 to 6. The handoff to Chris Gunn. He's got wheels, but they've got his ankles, and they pull the big tackle. Leads to a punt. 
Texas punts it away. Oklahoma with a fair catch inside of their own 15. They're able to move the ball out. Baker Mayfield now hitting Smallwood on the square out, picking up the first down later on near midfield. It's third and nine. Mayfield with the screen pass and the sure tackle. A great job in pursuit. And that leads to a punt, but no, it's a fake. Oh, what was Bob Stoops thinking? Getting desperate, giving Texas some great field position. Chris Warren's pumped up and motivated. Winding down to the end of the third quarter. Gets the first down. Now it's second and ten. The power play. He's going up the gut. He's going untouched, and he's going to the house. Look out, referee. You about got run over by the big man. That's a touchdown, and Texas takes a sweet 20-6 lead into the fourth quarter. Can they hold on, though? Oklahoma trying to take a shot. It's cover two with a man locked on. Mr. Hall says no way. Swats that one away. Now it's fourth and ten. Another try at the same spot. Mayfield 16 of 29 on the day. Only 142 yards passing. Not a factor in the rushing game. But Chris Warren, you know he is. A big first down get right there. Going back to him a couple plays later. Breaking a tackle. Break in another one. Well, I guess they got him, but he got the first down. With just under three to go, Texas trying to tack three more on to make it a 17-point contest. Depending on that defense now, Oklahoma right back down into scoring territory. Nobody's open downfield. He throws it out to P. Ryan. He breaks a tackle. He breaks another one, but the pursuit of the Longhorns is all over him. Brings up third and six. Oh, the miss. It's a first down. To the 30 is Oklahoma. They're not giving up yet. Texas back out in man coverage again. Oh, and a big sack. Caleb blew it. Stuff and Baker Mayfield dropping them. Leads to a fourth and 15 with a minute left to play. Texas bringing the house. Mayfield, he stands poised. He throws it deep, and it's an incomplete. Great play by Hall knocking that one away, and that's going to seal the deal for Texas. Two years in a row, the Longhorns are Red River Rivalry champions. We're trying to lock down a pipeline in recruiting in Oklahoma. We're going to steal all their prospects, and we don't mind if we steal the victories along the way as well. Texas coming off of that national championship last year was vaulted into it by a big win over Oklahoma. This one a little more defense, a little bit less suspenseful. But a fun one nonetheless. It doesn't matter. When you beat your rival, a win is a win, baby. Only one turnover in the game. A very clean played contest. A lot of great defense. Some smart playmaking. Mayfield with a decent game. Nothing too impressive. Chris Warren, though, was just killing it on the ground. Mr. Edwin Freeman had himself a decent game, as did Ahmad Thomas. Nothing too horrible on either end a couple of solid performances but a great win time to move on into the season we've got a non-conference contest coming up taking a break before launching fully into the big 12 it's byu in week seven you don't want to miss it thanks for watching we'll see you then if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like comment or share the video below subscribe if you haven't and next time you're shopping online at amazon or ebay use the links i provided in the description to help support my channel thanks and we'll see you next time